The Psychology of Color Color is a powerful communication tool. It can affect moods, feelings, and emotions. Picasso Pablo once said, Colors, like features, follow the changes of emotions. It is the study of the effects of colors on human behavior. Color is a form of nonverbal communication. Ideas, feelings, and emotions can be expressed with colors. How exactly does color work? Color psychology is widely used in branding and marketing. For example, they understand that when the colors of a brand's logo matches the personality of the company's goods or services, the logo seems to attract more customers. Some people find that orange and yellow excites their eyes, while red makes others hungry. That's why McDonald's use red and yellow in the design of their restaurants and logo. Blue represents productivity like Samsung with medium to dark blue. Implications have been made about our gender and color. Baby girls wear pink while baby boys wear blue. Even though there are no rules with regards to what colors are masculine and what colors are feminine, studies have drawn that some toys are often categorized based on color. Often, colors such as black and red are categorized as a boy's toy, and pastel colored toys, such as pink and purple, are categorized as a girl's toy. The colors black and white provide a good example of how people can have different cultural responses to colors. In many cultures, black symbolizes death and mourning. However, in Asia it is not black that represents mourning, but white. Our mood is linked to color. Otherwise, phrases like seeing red, green with envy, or feeling blue wouldn't have existed. So, are you thinking of changing the color of your room? Until we meet again bye bye.